The purpose of a log gamma curve is to increase the dynamic range of our final output file from the linear raw Bayer data that we get from our camera sensor with respect to highlights. This takes us all the way back to our high school mathematics classes when we talked about logarithmic functions. One of the distinct characteristics of a logarithmic function is that it's a parabola that never reaches its maximum value, the maximum in this case being the highlights. Unfortunately, our camera sensors do have maximums and therefore it is possible to lose information of the highlights, but this is a gamma curve designed for HDR color grading. Now there's tons of different ways that people color grade log footage, but today I'm going to teach you guys my favorite way to color grade log gamma footage, and that is to achieve an HDR look, maximizing all the information that we have from our camera sensor, and I'm going to show you a simple trick in DaVinci Resolve that will help our color tools work for us and not against us. I'm going to be taking you guys through two methods on how to accomplish this HDR look. The first one is my preferred method. That's just a little secret that I haven't seen anybody talk about, which is this HDR mode. Now, I'm not trying to confuse you. Although Resolve is capable of using HDR10 and grading in HDR10, we would need a reference monitor to correctly color grade in HDR10. But this will help you even if you can't afford that $10,000 to $19,000 monitor. And I want to show you what this does. Looking at our waveform, in order to correct this log footage, we're going to need to drag all of these shadows down to around zero IRE or at least until it looks good to our eyes. Now we will be making some adjustments, but we're slowly going to take our lift wheel right here because that is our shadows and we're going to drag it down slowly and don't be afraid if it looks like it's getting dark on you because we are going to adjust that right before it's hitting zero IRE. So right about there is where I'm going to stop. Now, we notice that that dragged down our highlights too, but look what happens if we're not using that HDR mode. You see nothing at all. This is why I love this because it makes the movements more intuitive for you guys. From there, we're going to boost up our highlights right before we're clipping on the sky. Now that right there, that's the sun. This is why I'm calling this a high dynamic range scene. We have black skin tones and the sun. We really aren't losing anything else and we're definitely not losing our skin tones. So we're gonna drag that up and then I'm gonna come into my gamma or my midtones. I'm gonna boost this up a bit, but then I'm gonna bring this right back down. Now you might be saying this looks a little washed out from here. All we're gonna do is we're gonna add some saturation. Now with my camera specifically, it is plus 100 to get that look. Now we can go ahead and add in a little bit of mid-tone contrast. I'm gonna add in about 30 and just adjust our mid-tones just a bit because all I'm doing is grading to my personal preference with this scene. I want to maintain my highlights and I wanna maintain my shadows and I think we've done a pretty good job of that so far. Maybe just a little bit more down on the shadows in that right there is a perfect scene for the standard I'm going for. We just want to make sure that from here, we're going to check our CIE chromaticacy, and we're just going to add a node because look, we're, we're outside of the legal rec 709 now because of our technique that we used. We're going to add a color space transform at the very end, and we are going to change our gamut mapping to saturation mapping, and that takes us right back into rec 709 perfectly without being illegal. Now, unfortunately, this is only in the pro version of DaVinci Resolve. So what if we aren't using the pro version? Well, let's again start all over. And this time we're gonna use the log wheels. Now to make our job easier, let's go ahead and add our saturation in first so we can see what we're doing. And using the log wheels, we're gonna make these same adjustments using our waveform, but by specifying our low and high range to get the perfect values and correct that log footage properly. As you can see here, we have all that information. Only thing we're losing is the sun. So we're gonna take our shadows. We're gonna drag them down, but we see that it didn't do anything. Now let's adjust our low range. Cool, now let's keep moving them down. Do you see that? I dragged the shadows right back to where I wanted them. And to be honest, that's a perfectly fine look for me. We can go ahead and throw a color into our highlights to make sure that's what that is. That's all I'm doing is checking. And I'm just going to drag down the highlights just a bit. Now, if 
The reason why I added that color in here before we end is just because I know that if I change my high range and it's not right, that color wouldn't have appeared in there. For example, if the high range was off, I can add as much magenta as I want. It's only going to be in a certain part. But because I specified and made sure that was correct, that's about where we are. So from there, we're going to keep that right about there. And that's a perfectly fine way, as long as we're working with our low range and our high range, to adjust the highlights and the shadows the same way we did, then you can go from here and continue to grade as normal. I sincerely hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you guys are looking for more in-depth information on DaVinci Resolve or simply looking to continue your education, I invite you to join both of my color grading communities, SBG's Selected Colorist and SBG's Elite Colorist. SBG Selected Colorist is a color grading group ran through Patreon where every month we dive into a different color grading topic through a tutorial in the Patreon group, a lot that applies to that topic of the month, and my favorite part of all, a live class to really bring everything together and allow you guys to ask questions so that you can learn in a way that benefits you. And SBG's Elite Colorist is my master class. We meet for one month twice a week, and we go through an A to Z curriculum in color grading and DaVinci Resolve, and we even dive into some pre-production topics such as color theory so that we can make sure that we're getting everything right in camera so that it works for us in post-production. If you guys like this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications if you have not. Be sure to follow me on my social media. The links are in the description down below, as well as the YouTube fam. Their links are also in the description down below. Everything that I have talked about with respect to these color grading communities, you guessed it, is in the description down below. And remember, if you guys are ever feeling uninspired, uncreative, or just want to give up on life, remember, every day, airplanes take off against the wind. Keep climbing, stay inspired, and as always, stay fabulous. My name is Sydney, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.